Hi everyone, it's Father Dimitri. I hope you guys are having a great day. So this little video is just to show the best way to make your handle for me request to our church. Uh, we launched this program a couple of weeks ago once uh, the social distancing directives were put in place by our local government and our uh, archdiocese. And uh, it's been re received really well. We've had a lot of requests and we have fulfilled all of them, uh, thank God. Uh, the reason I wanted to make this video is because some people are um, using the Google form, some people are going straight to Tithely to make their donation, and it's been a little difficult kind of uh, synthesizing the information in a way that's easy for the church to uh, take your requests and light your candles. Um, because we have to go here, we have to go there, we have to see who did both, who only did one, who only did the other. So I think, I hope that this will clear things up so that we can um, kind of smooth out the process as we go. Of course, uh, there's always a learning curve with these things. So I thought today uh, we can make this little video and hopefully help out. So I'm going to start out just by, uh, with a fresh web browser here. Uh, and then I'm going to go to our website, which is SS Constantine and Helen.org. And you see it right there. Uh, we just finished uh, reconstructing our website. And so we hope that you'll find it convenient and easy. We have live streams information on here, lots of great information. So on the top of the uh, screen here, you'll see that there's all these different tabs, you know, tabs for giving, uh, bulletin board, uh, live streaming. On the bottom here on the left, you'll see light a candle. That's where we want to go. So you're going to click on light a candle. And here's the page for the light a candle requests. So the directions are here. Basically fill out the form below, hit submit. Uh, it'll provide you a link to our giving page and then complete the donation for the candles you have specified. So I'm just gonna run through that really quick. Uh, so light a candle program. Uh, first question is what is your name? So I'm gonna put my name, Father Dimitri Barikis. And then the, it's gonna ask how many candles I want. So the white candles are just the plain skinny white candles that go in the sandbox, the small ones. So I'm going to take, uh, I want one of those candles lit today. And you can see, you can pick as many as 10. So uh, I'm just going to go with one. Then the small white votive candles are the small round uh, candles that get lit in the back of the church behind the choir. Uh, so I don't need any of those today. So I'm going to pick zero. So that's important too, that you can obviously pick zero if you, if you don't want one of these types to be lit. Easter candles or lambadas are the larger white candles that also get lit in the sandbox. I'm gonna, I would like one of those for today. And then the red seven day candles are the larger uh, red candles that are in the glass. They're, uh, uh, that usually end up in, in front of the Iconostasi by Christ and Panagia. Uh, I don't need any of those today either. So I've now selected which candles I want. So I want one regular white candle and I want one lambada. Now, the last two questions are um, names. So when we light your candles, Father Ted and I uh, pray for the names that you provide us. So I'm just going to put Father Dimitri and family here for me and my family. And then the names of the departed, uh, I'm just going to put really quickly my, my grandparents. So uh, Pinelopi, Dimitra, and Dimitrios. Now, it's important when you, when you type in here the names, it's better to do it this way that I've, I've done it here where each name is separated by a comma instead of making rows because um, apparently you can only provide like 10 rows of names. So if you only put one on each row, then you can only give 10 names. But if you put these commas, then you can, uh, you can put more. So at this point, my form is done. I'm going to hit submit. And then part one is finished. So I've, I've submitted the information. That information goes into a Google spreadsheet. It's very easy for uh, myself, Father Ted, um, Nick, our cameraman, whoever's at church uh, helping out to see and light the candles. Now, step two is to uh, click on the link. So right here, you can see uh, to pay for your candles, here's the link. And one thing that's really nice is it actually doesn't even leave our website. It just brings you to the giving page. Now, I'm already signed in. If you have an account, I would recommend signing in. Um, just so it can keep track of your of your donations all in one place. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the giving type, which is here, this little drop down menu, and I'm going to go to light a candle for me. And um, you'll see now if you come to Tithely first, 
it says to visit our website to submit the request. So hopefully that will help clear things up too. And then it has the, the costs for the candles here. So for my small white candle, it's $2. And for my Pasca Lambada, it's $3. The votives, the small white votives are also $2. So I need to donate today $5 to the candles, candle fund. So I'm gonna put $5 here. If you don't have an account and you're just making a one-time donation, you can enter all of this manually. Uh, I will cover the fees. That's another option that helps our church because we pay fees on uh, the transactions through Tithely as well. So now I'm ready to hit give and complete my donation. I'm gonna hit okay to confirm that I wanna do that. And then my donation has been accepted, thanks. Uh, so at this point, I'm done. Uh, I've, I've submitted my information, I've submitted my payment, the church has records of both, and I'm ready to go. Uh, my candle now will definitely be lit by Father Dimitri and or Father Ted, or again, anyone who's helping out at the church that night. Uh, so that's, that's the process, it's very simple, it's all in one spot on our website. Um, I just wanted to show one more thing, uh, we also have this Submit Names tab up here at the top. This is for when we have Divine Liturgy, if you'd like to give your names um, for the priests to read. It's the same idea, right? Here's the Google form. You fill out your names. Again, commas, you know, you know, put commas in between all the names. Hit Submit. It'll give a link to make a donation, and then um, you can make your donation through Tithely again. So that's it. It's very simple, uh, very, hopefully very convenient. And uh, hopefully we can streamline the process as time goes on to make it as easy as possible and make sure everyone gets their, their candles lit at church. Um, and so that it's easy for us at church to, to find your requests as well. So with that, thank you. God bless. Have a great day. And Kali Anastasi. God bless.